Standard Chinese, a modular approach. Biographic Information Module, Unit 4, Production Tape 1. On the comprehension tape in this unit, you learned a number of sentences which talked about people's comings and goings. Before you go on to learn how to say these things, let's test your comprehension of them. Try putting the following sentences into English. They're arranged in exchanges. Number one. 你是一个人来的吗? Did you come alone? 不是。我不是一个人来的。No, I didn't come alone. No, I didn't come alone. 你爱人也来了吗? Has your wife come too? 来了。她来了。Yes, yes, she's come. Number two. 你朋友来了吗? Has your friend come? 他没有来。He hasn't come. Number three. 你每天走? What day are you leaving? 我今天走。I'm leaving today. Number four. 你朋友来了吗? Has your friend come? 他已经来了。He's already come. 他是什么时候到的? When did he arrive? 他是昨天到的。He arrived yesterday. Number five. 你爱人也来了吗? Has your husband come yet? 他还没来。He hasn't come yet. If you had any problems with these sentences, rewind the tape and work on them some more. If you understood them all, you can begin working how to ask these questions and how to answer them. Listen to this exchange. Mr. Martin, the Canadian representative in Peking, is to ask if his wife is coming to join him. 你爱人来吗? 他来. Repeat the verb to come. 来. 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 Repeat the sentence, she's coming. 她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她来。她
Try answering the following questions about your family. Assume that your spouse and children have now come to Peking. Again. Now suppose that you have arrived a few days before your wife. Listen. You'll notice that even though this is a negative sentence, there is no negative adverb bu. When you're talking about a past event, the negative adverb to use is may. Repeat, she hasn't come yet. You'll also notice that the marker le doesn't show up in the negative sentence. Repeat, she hasn't come yet. You've seen that adverbs such as hai precede the verb. However, they don't always directly precede the verb. Certain things may go between the adverb and the verb, like the negative adverb may. How do you say she hasn't come yet? Try responding to the question yourself. Answer that your wife hasn't come yet. Again. The conversation continues. Repeat the word for tomorrow. The word Mingtian behaves like other adverbs you've seen. It precedes the verb. Repeat, she's coming tomorrow. You'll notice that once again the verb, just as it is, is used to indicate a future happening. In this case, of course, Mingtian makes it clear it's a future happening. How do you say, he or she is coming tomorrow? Try answering the question now. Your wife is coming tomorrow. Again. The phrase when is literally what time. Repeat the word for time. You already recognize the word for what. Repeat the phrase for when. The question phrase asking when fills the same slot in the sentence as the adverb telling when. In other words, 什么时候 in the question is replaced by 明天 in the answer. As usual, the word order doesn't change from question to answer. Repeat, when is she coming? 她什么时候来? 她什么时候来? Try asking the question ahead of the speaker. 她什么时候来? Try asking it again. This time you'll get a confirmation and a reply. 她什么时候来? 她明天来? Again. 她什么时候来? 她明天来? Try answering a few questions about your wife's travel plans. She's not in Peking yet. She's coming tomorrow. 你爱人也来了吗? 她还没来? 他什么时候来? 他明天来? Again. 你爱人也来了吗? 他还没来? 他什么时候来? 他明天来? Mr. Martin is talking about a friend of his now. Listen. 
。你朋友什么时候到？他已经到了。Repeat the verb to arrive. 到。到。到。Repeat. When is your friend arriving? 你朋友什么时候到？你朋友什么时候到 ？Try asking the question ahead of the speaker. 你朋友什么时候到 ？Try asking the question. When is your friend arriving again? This time you'll get a confirmation and a reply. 你朋友什么时候到？他已经到了。Repeat the adverb already. 已经。已经，已经。The adverb 已经 behaves like other adverbs you've seen, such as hi and do. It comes before the verb. Repeat. He's already arrived. 他已经到了。他已经到了。Now you try responding to the question. Your friend has already arrived. 你朋友什么时候到？他已经到了。Again， 你朋友什么时候到？他已经到了。What's the word for yet？ 还。What's the word for already？ 已经。Now let's do some more work on how to ask when. So far, you know how to ask when something is going to happen. How do you say when is he coming？ 他什么时候来 ？Now listen to the speaker ask when something took place. 你是什么时候到的？我是昨天到的。You would expect to hear the marker l in this exchange, signaling completed action, but instead you hear the verb s h before the time phrase 什么时候 or 昨天 and the marker d after the verb dao. Listen again. 你是什么时候到的？我是昨天到的。You use the marker l for completed action when you're talking about whether or not the action took place. You use the sh d construction on the other hand when you're talking about when the action took place or about where or how it took place. In other words, you use the marker l when the focus of the sentence is on the action itself, and you use the sh d construction when the focus is on some fact about the action. Repeat. When did you arrive? 你是什么时候到的？你是什么时候到的 ？Notice that whatever is focused upon goes between the two parts of the sh the construction along with the verb. How do you ask? When did you arrive? 你是什么时候到的 ？Try asking the question again. This time you'll get a confirmation and a reply. 你是什么时候到的？我是昨天到的。Again. 你是什么时候到的？我是昨天到的。Repeat the word for yesterday. 昨天。昨天。昨天。Repeat. I arrived yesterday. 我是昨天到的。我是昨天到的。Try responding to the question. Assume that you arrived yesterday. 你是什么时候到的？我是昨天到的。Again. 你是什么时候到的？我是昨天到的。A quick review. How do you say he came? 他来了。How do you say he came yesterday? 他是昨天来的。Here's a similar exchange about Mr. Martin's friend. 你朋友是什么时候到的？他是昨天到的。Try responding to the question. Answer that your friend arrived yesterday. 你朋友是什么时候到的？他是昨天到的。Again.
，你朋友是什么时候到的？他是昨天到的。We said that the s h u the construction, was used to indicate completed action when the focus is on some fact about the action, not just the action itself. So far, we've seen the focus on the time the action took place, but we can put the focus on some other aspect of the completed action as well. Listen. 他是一个人来的吗？不是，他不是一个人来的。The expression 一个人 describes the manner in which the action could have taken place, and it's the manner which both speakers are interested in, not whether or not the action took place, which is obvious from the situation. Repeat, he came alone. 他是一个人来的。他是一个人来的。To negate a sentence with a s h u r the construction, the negative adverb 不 goes before the word s h u r in the s h u r the construction. Repeat, he didn't come alone. 他不是一个人来的。他不是一个人来的。Repeat, no, he didn't come alone. 不是，他不是一个人来的。不是，他不是一个人来的。Try answering the question. Assume you're the one being asked questions about your friend and his wife who have just come to Peking. 他是一个人来的吗？不是，他不是一个人来的。Again. 他是一个人来的吗？不是。他不是一个人来的。Listen to this conversation. 你爱人是昨天到的吗？是，他是昨天到的。他是一个人来的吗？不是，他不是一个人来的。孩子也来了。Now you take part in the conversation. Assume that yesterday you were joined by your wife and children. 你爱人是昨天到的吗？是，他是昨天到的。他是一个人来的吗？不是，他不是一个人来的。孩子也来了。Try it again. Yesterday your wife arrived with the children. 你爱人是昨天到的吗？是，他是昨天到的。他是一个人来的吗？不是，他不是一个人来的，孩子也来了。Now listen as Mr. Martin talks to Comrade Lin, who's just been transferred to Chengdu. 你什么时候走？我今天走。Repeat the verb to leave. 走，走，走。Here again, we're using the verb unchanged to talk about a future happening. Repeat the question: When are you leaving? 你什么时候走？你什么时候走？ Try saying it ahead of the speaker. 你什么时候走？ Try asking the question again. This time, you'll get a confirmation and a reply. 你什么时候走？我今天走。Repeat the word for today. 今天，今天，今天。Repeat the sentence. I'm leaving today. 我今天走。我今天走。Try responding to the question yourself. Say that you're leaving today. 你什么时候走？我今天走。Again， 你什么时候走？我今天走。You could have asked Mr. Lin when he's leaving in another way. Listen， 你哪天走？我今天走。Repeat the word for what day? Literally, which day? 哪天？哪天？哪天 
You will recognize the syllable nei of nei tian as the same syllable nei from nei guo, which country? Repeat, what day are you leaving? Try saying it ahead of the speaker. What day are you leaving? Ask the question again. What day are you leaving? This time you get a confirmation and a reply. Again. Now let's review what we've covered in this unit. I'll give you some sentences in English and you put them into Chinese. They're arranged in exchanges. Let's start. Number one. Is he coming tomorrow? He's already come. Number two. Has your friend come? He hasn't come yet. Number three. When did she arrive? She arrived yesterday. Number four. Did you come alone? No, I didn't come alone. Number five, when are you leaving? I'm leaving today. This is the end of the tape. End of Biographic Information Module, Unit 4, Production Tape 1.